Tennessee public schools might not have a choice about having armed resource officers if a bill passes during the special legislative session. Good evening and welcome to News 2 at 5. I'm Bob Mueller. And I'm Haley Wilgus. Instead, police would make the decision after Metro angered Republicans. Here's state capitol reporter Chris O'Brien. Lawmakers filed a new bill this week for special session to potentially force school districts to accept school resource officers. The bill stipulates if a local board of education has not entered into a memorandum of understanding with a law enforcement agency to assign a school resource officer at each school within the local board of education's control, then a law enforcement agency with jurisdiction may assign at least one law enforcement officer to serve as a school resource officer at the school. There were some law enforcement agencies that had reached out to me and let me know that there was a problem with the bill that tied their hands when it comes to public safety. Kulioka Republican Representative Scott Sapicki filed the bill. The move comes after Metro Police declined funding for elementary school SROs because Metro Police Chief John Drake said they didn't have the staffing for it. Then last week, school superintendent Adrian Battle ultimately said they would have a plan for SROs in elementary schools after resisting armed officers in elementary schools for years. Now we know there's a shortage, but you know what? Let's try. Because right now, Metro Nashville, if you want to talk about Metro Nashville, we have elementary schools that don't have SROs in them, which makes them a target for what we are coming to special session for in a couple days. Democrats blasted the bill, saying it's ironic the party who generally favors small government is pushing it. Well, they've given up the title of, of the party of small government a long time ago, because they interfere in everybody's parts of life, whether it's your bedroom, the bathroom, your libraries, and everything in between. Um, this is... Business as usual for them. Spicky pushed back on that notion, saying local law enforcement still has control here. I, I don't think we've mandated anything in the bill. The superintendent doesn't s uh, swear an oath to public safety. The chief of police does. Still, Nashville Democratic Representative Vincent Dixie argued, though it fits the scope of the call, lawmakers should be focused on more serious changes around gun control. I don't think there's anything that's been introduced that has to do with gun control. It's about punishment and control, but not gun control. The Republicans have guaranteed there will be no serious gun reform this time around. When I asked him how confident he was on a scale of 1 to 10 of this bill passing, Spicky said he didn't want to put a number on it, but he said he believes the state has an obligation to allow law enforcement to follow the oath they swore. Bob.